to my channel and today I am going to be taking a BuzzFeed quiz. Um, uh, which one, which one? Oh, what's my favorite flower? This one seems nice. Choose your, favorite, choose your first song. Don't blame me, our song, Maroon, the Great War, the Lakes, the White Horse. Uh, don't blame me. Every time I'm sad when I listen to Don't Blame Me, it makes me feel better about my entire existence. So, should have said no back to December, right where you left me, Wonderland, you're on your own kid, or the man. Unpopular opinion here. I didn't really get back to December. I'm not saying I didn't like it. I just... I just didn't vibe with back to December. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh should have said no yeah let's pick with that one i don't know choose your third song the lucky one the one ivy clean style or superman people who know me know that it's style that's mainly because all i talk about is my favorite taylor swift song from each album i have a pinterest board dedicated to each album of taylor swift for different moods because like you need that everyone needs that choose your fourth song into hero blink space never grow up christmas tree farm i almost do mm, blink space come on come on it's like it was the first song i listened to so i don't care if there's better songs out there it's the first taylor swift song i listened to so blank space. I actually got introduced to Taylor Swift because one of my friends was like a crazy Swifty and I was scared of her because she was a little crazy. But um, she also turned me into a crazy Swifty. So um, there's that. <laughs> Begin again. Call it what you want. A place this world invisible string. All too well. Miss America and the Heartbreak Prince. All too well is like when I'm about to literally cry. So we're going to pick Miss Americana and Heartbreak Prince because I know the lyrics to that song by heart. There's actually very few songs I can like sing by heart of Taylor Swift. But that's just one of them. The Story of Us, uh, Mean, The Best Day, Innocent, Sweet Nothing. The Story of Us. Uh, Mean was a really, really old one, and I used to really, really vibe to that song. Uh, I listened to it, like, actually, I listened to it very, like, later on after, because the first things I listened to was, like, Blank Space and Speak Now. So, yeah. Uh, Mean was, like, very old, but also very recent for me to listen to. Choose your seventh song. You are in love. Last kiss. Red. Gorgeous. Um, the last great American dynasty. Or I can see you. Um, red. Come on, come on. If you don't pick red, you're you're a crazy psychopath. Choose your sixth song. Okay. Long story short. Uh, dancing with their hands tied, wildest dreams, getaway car, sparks fly, or teardrops on my guitar. Wildest dreams. I can also sing that song by heart, but I wouldn't because I don't want to make the world suffer. Uh, Gold Rush, The Archer, Snow on the Beach, Safe and Run, Love Story, Hits Different, Love Story. Oh my god, Love Story was so cute. It was like, it's probably the cutest song I ever heard. Not just, like, a cute Taylor Swift song. It's the cutest song I've genuinely ever heard. After a London Boy. Because London Boy was, like, also really cute. And also, it's part of the Lover album, so. Choose your tenth and final song. Tolerate it. Measure it. It's time to go. Look what you made me do. Daylight or Enchanted. Look what you made me do is, like, bad bleep energy. And she always radiates bad bleep energy, so... We gotta pick that. Rose. My favorite flower is a rose. No, it's not. It's not a rose. 
actually it is, but like, I don't want BuzzFeed to be right about that, okay? Anyways, um, goodbye, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. Goodbye.